Welcome back to Fire Survival Episode 6. We built this awesome wood storage building last episode, and right across from it, we have the ravine, which I finally did some heavy progress on. We took out the fences that used to be here. I'll show a quick before and after. We mixed some spruce in. This is definitely a B00 special, but I thought it worked awesome here. There's a little fence post or whatever it is falling down here with some moss overgrown where you could sneak in. We finally got rid of the water drop down there and now there's a proper hanging ladder, which is really cool, a little more dangerous. I think it works much better. You put it on trap doors and it's just hanging down here and then you go down a little further to get to the bottom of this area. We have a pillager down here that we pacified and I hope to get a bunch more in here. We have one under there, one over there too. Overall, this ravine looks much better inside. I decided to get rid of all the grass because it didn't really make sense if this was kind of like dying and decaying. So we filled it up with coarse dirt and path blocks. I also hope to get some mycelium down here eventually. If we hop on into this creative world, you can see what I mean more. This is where I kind of planned out what we were going to do for the ravine, and we have some mycelium growing. Before we get to the building of this episode, we really got to upgrade our armor. We don't even have a chest plate anymore. Last episode, we crafted up a bunch of this stuff, and I think it's time to get this on. That's much better, but I still think it's missing a little something. This barrel contains all our goodies that we found in this world so far, and I think it's time we use one of these coast armor trim smithing templates. I want to grab a piece of lapis too because that's going to be our trim material. I think we're going to put it on the hat. We could check out how it would look on all the armor pieces. So this would be the hat. Pretty simple. I'm not going to do the chest plate because once we get an elytra, we won't use it anymore. Pants, not really a huge fan of. And for boots, not crazy about it too. I think this is going to look great on our hat. So let's go ahead and smith this armor. Crafting a new look. Perfect. I think it's about time that we get Bill some armor of his own too. We don't have any horse armor, so we can make some leather armor. How do you do it like that? I have no clue how to do the horse armor. Oh, it's just an H. Leather horse armor. I ended up dyeing a bunch of horse armor to try to get the right color. At first we had this kind of blue one and that was gonna match the lapis on my helmet. And I tried to do it again with a better color match, but didn't really work out. And then we ended up with this one, which I ended up also making twice trying to do a better color match, but I think this one looks better. And this is Bill and I's new look, but there's one more thing I gotta show you first. Now we have an updated skin too. I really wanted to get the shading on the skin better. You could see that we have hands kind of now and overall I think this looks much better than before. Yeah, pretty cool. I'm excited to be rocking this new look. I've had a vision for this area down here for quite a while now and I'm really excited to get it in because it's going to be very functional, mainly for the early game. Our animals have been in small pens up there since episode 1 and I think it's finally time we give them a proper home. I still need to collect a bunch of more resources, but after that, I think we're going to be ready to start this build. Yeah, I really have a lot more stuff I need to collect. I took all of my oak wood that I had right now in the wood storage building, and I didn't even get one lap around the first pen. We're going to have one pen here, another pen to the side, and they're both going to be double layered. Yeah, we need a lot more oak wood. I've been planning all these builds in creative, so that means I have an unlimited selection of blocks, so... While I'm in creative planning, I just kind of go ahead and use whatever I need. But then I started to try to put together this build and I realized that I don't have any of these blocks. I don't have a good source of mushroom stems. I don't have bone blocks. I don't have clay for bricks. I had to do a lot of resource gathering for this build because there's so many things I did not have, but it's going to be worth it. I hope so. I really hope that this is enough stuff to get this build done. I've been killing skeletons for a while, just overnight. We have basically used all our durability on our brand new armor. This helmet's all the way down to 23 out of 165. So I really think we need to get some diamond armor because we just made this last episode and it's already pretty much gone. I'm going to get all this wood crafted up into some fences and we'll see if this is enough to finish the two pens and we'll get along with this in the building. Here we go.
Before I showcase this build, I just want to get this path in so you can get the full view, the full image, the full vision. So if we take it from here, you can see the path frames it. We have a farmhouse and we have two animal pens. The cows will go in here, sheep will go in there, and that will really help with our food supply. You know, we're really running out of steak. In here, this is kind of where the hay is that will feed them. Of course, we'll have like a barrel with more and ignore some of the pieces missing. As I said before, I don't have a good supply of these blocks. So, you know, if we come in here, this entire wall's missing, but I'll get that done off camera in between episodes. The biggest issue is I need a lot of mushroom stem and bone blocks. And to get the mushroom stem, I need bone meal to grow the mushrooms. And then I need lots of bone meal to get the bone blocks too. So I need a lot of bone meal is what I'm trying to say. If you come around to the back, it's pretty much, oh, I'm in a hole. If we come around to the back, it's pretty much done. This stone's supposed to be clay. I just gotta grab one from over there. Let's actually do that right now. The clay just works better because it's a lighter gray, so it blends in more. I promise I'll get this done. Well, you can see a little of the interior from the outside, but we'll go in and check it out. We have this. I'm gonna put a painting right here, and of course we'll fill in blocks there, and it's just gonna be a little storage room and attic. Maybe I'll keep food and stuff in here. We'll, we'll see what kind of happens. But anyways, if we go into the free cam to get the kind of framed view, I think it's looking really cool, especially once we get these cows in and these sheep in. Well, why don't we do that right now too? The cows are free, but not for long. Let's get all of them. You too, bud. The pillagers want the cows too. Be free, cows. Well, not very free, just more free than before. This should definitely help give this area some more life. We got the cows in, we got the sheep in, we just gotta breed them up a little more cause the pen's kinda empty right now. With the build complete, it's time to pivot to a new adventure. In the last episode, I found a trail ruin and I really wanna go explore that right now. But first we need to repair all our armor. It's located right next to the pillager outpost. So things might get a little bit dicey. We also don't have mending, so we'll be doing it the old school way. Yeah, that's pretty expensive, but we're all repaired and it's time to go on this adventure. Oh, we can't forget, we need a copper brush. I got the cords and it's ready to go. This should be the place. Yeah, we got, oh, yeah, right here is where we want to go. But we're going to have a little bit of an issue. Yeah. Oh, this is, this is ideal. We got to free this guy. Hopefully before, hopefully we don't hit it. And it's nighttime. This is not going well at all. Come on, sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, I need to be careful not to hit the golem instead. I just gotta free him. They just keep on spawning. Be free. Do I have iron? No, I do not. Hopefully that guy will protect us and we just got to put up a wall. Hopefully this will do. So let's start digging. So any oh, that looks suspicious. Oh, yay. Hanging sign. What is it? It's white eye. We got our first pottery shard. Respecting the remnants. Heartbreak pottery shard. Sick. We're still making our way through this trial ruin. Trail ruin? Trial ruin? I don't know. Too many trails and tales and trials and omens. But we have a floating one and I kind of want to just keep it here. Also, I'll, I'll show off what I've done so far. I started taking the terracotta from the top, but this kind of looks really cool and it's definitely got a structure shape. So I started putting ladders so I could get back up because I've been dropping all my stuff off and I have to keep on making stone shovels. Anyways, let's keep on brushing away. We got this completely cleared out now. It's a really cool one. It has this center area and an area back here, this area. 
all the way down here too, which is kind of, oh, we actually have more that we could dig out. I'll do that in a second. You know, it's got a grindstone in there. I didn't even know of those kind of things spawned in trial runes. Trial runes, trail runes, it's too confusing. Next update needs to avoid any T words. Anyways, this is all the stuff we got. We got three smithing templates. I think there's four different ones that could come from the runes. So hopefully in that last patch, we could get a little more. We got a bunch of the different pottery shards and I wasn't too excited about the candles while I was brushing them up, but I realized I don't have honey right now or wax. So candles, pretty cool. Besides that, I'm pretty happy with our haul. I didn't realize there was so much stuff in there. And we also have so much gravel, which is great. No more smithing templates, but we got some more shards. Oh, and we got a wandering trader. Jungle saplings. This is a moment that we were waiting for. We have three emeralds. We need five. And all our other stuff is back home. This is not fun. Red sand's also really good. Um, I don't really know what to do. Well, I decided we, we got to go back home and get all our emeralds and trade with this guy to get the jungle saplings. The journey home is such a pain right now, but it's definitely going to be worth it in the long run. We haven't come across a jungle biome yet, so having jungle wood will be really nice. We'd see home right in the distance, but as soon as we get there, we got to go back, get the saplings, and come back again. Emerald secured. Sapling secured and red sand secured. This really worked out to be the perfect end of the episode because all I needed to finish up a big part of the build was some jungle wood. I know I said big part of the build, but it's really one of the most minor details ever. This one block was supposed to be jungle wood instead of mud bricks, and I think that's all we really needed for the jungle wood. It makes that corner a little lighter, and I like it. It's the little details that count. So there's a couple more things I want to do before we finish this episode. We can go ahead and change this little desk and chair setup to be jungle wood. That just gives it a little more contrast with the floor. I also realized that we only put windows in the front of this house. If we go all the way around, there's no windows and that doesn't really make sense. So I want to go punch a couple more in here. I think it would be nice if we had one right here. Maybe we do like a little one over here too. Does that look good? We'll sleep before we go look outside. Don't want any of the creepers creeping. Yeah, that definitely makes it feel a little bit more realistic. I think we could add a little thing down here too. Maybe if we change this andesite, which just went through the wall, into a stair. And just put it like, just put it like that. And now we have a little window peeping in there. Isn't that great? I think that adds a little more. We'll keep it for now. We'll see how we like it. Yeah, I, I think I like it. Anyways, that's all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.